Hey, Nadia Melton here with NadiaMelton.com. And in today's video, I'm so very excited for you because this is going to be a special treat. If you are an entrepreneur, you're developing your personal brand, and you are just seeking more attention, how can I get my brand exposed to a lot more people? Well, I got it covered for you here today. So I got to know Delgado, which let's face it, guys, she is amazing. Literally in 15 months, can you just share with us the type of attention that you've attracted for your brand and your company? Absolutely. In my previous businesses, I was traveling all over the United States. I was, you know, really contacting all over the place. So when I started from scratch about 15 months ago, developing a brand was one thing. Getting eyeballs on that brand was another thing, right? How many of you guys have ever felt like, man, I have an amazing idea, but how do I get it out to the world faster? And so uh, literally over the last several months, uh, we've gotten now thousands and thousands of people's attention from some of the biggest leaders in the world uh, turning and pointing to us as some of the leading experts in training and entrepreneurial training in the globe. The, the most important thing is you're always thinking in advance of what you'd like to happen, right? Maybe it's a shot in the dark, maybe it's just a dream, but if you put some attention to it, you might be shocked what happens, right? Grant Cardone, New York Times best-selling author five times, worth over 500 million in real estate, uh, truly dominating the sales training world. Um, he got my attention about the same time I started Life Intended. And so following that and really implementing some of the tools he had taught, it was his birthday two days ago. And I saw everybody posting videos. I saw everybody you know, doing all these different kinds of things. And I thought, I'm gonna do something different. And sure enough, um, on Periscope, all of his sales guys started lighting up my Periscope. I go, everybody's live at Grant's office, what's happening? And they're showing him celebrating his birthday. And on a big screen behind him is my face. And I went, <gasps> Stop what is it. happening? And pretty soon Grant posts me a thank you for sending him a, a, a creative happy birthday. And then he posted on Snapchat and then he posted on Twitter. And all of a sudden I have 2,000 friend requests and tons of messages and, you know, a hundred new likes on my business page. And all of these people that in a moment, just from doing something a little creative like a happy birthday, your brand gets massive exposure. So things like that yeah. uh, are the key to getting more eyeballs on you when you're sitting at your home with your kids and in your home and we're home because it's a blizzard out here. But it's really important to say that when I was learning how to build a brand, the important stats, the important things to follow, I learned all of my branding techniques from Nadia Melton. So you need to know this. If you guys are not following and part of my branding academy and doing all of those key tips, when someone has done something really well, do not reinvent it. Learn yeah. from those who are the best. And, and Nadia, I can't thank you and John enough for being so excellent at your craft that I even knew where to start because oh, I'd followed you, you for a long time. So, so you, if when you have a brand that you're proud of, which is exactly what you guys teach, it's easier to step into the things that I'm gonna teach, right? And yeah. if you don't have that, you can't show up in this way. So I wanna make sure everyone follows in line with how to build their brand because really I use your techniques. But I'm gonna run you through some basics and these are things you need to gauge yourself and how you're doing with these steps okay so the first thing you have to be is consistent right you have to be showing up and delivering your brand to the masses online every single day okay if you're not no one's watching so they're not even going to care who helps you expose your brand if you're not consistently showing up every day so i have a lot of people out there who are who are like we're trying to get a followers and we're trying to get followers on periscope and all of these things and i and i'll go over to their facebook page and i'll go look but nobody has anything to look at right so right. so you have to be showing up and adding value in your marketplace every single day it doesn't matter if you have business people following you or friends following you or or just a few following you your job every day is to be consistent be growing 
your contacts be growing the value you give so that people are showing up to your page showing up to who you are that you're really defining what you stand for every single day I agree. Um, it makes it really simple that when you go in to try and connect with some of these people who could help you expose your brand they know who you are and they can roll in through real quick and scroll through your thing and go wow she adds value every single day i might want to get to know her I Otherwise, agree. they go to your page and they're like, oh, look, they shared some video of somebody else's child doing something funny. They have no presence in their world, right? It's so, so true. And you're so right, Danelle, because people that get it, right? Online marketing is really all about consistent value edit. And nobody wants to connect or follow people that are hot one day and cold for the next three weeks, right? So you right. can't be a one hit wonder. You can't be excited one day and post like three videos and then gone for a month. Okay, we got it. It's so number absolutely one. Absolutely true. Consistent. Uh, number two, now this is a good one. Authentic confidence. Mm. Yeah, you see people out there who are all ego. That's a massive turnoff. When you see yeah. someone who's confident in who they are and what they stand for, they know their values, they live them, they express them every single day. It's amazing, right? I had some big meetings. I got some big meetings with some power players this last week. And um, they're always surprised when I walk in, right? I have a little system, right? I jam out in my car. You do have people. a system. I yeah, do. can we talk right? about it? Right? You guys know, no, I won't back down. Like you hear it? So I'm like, right? I will stand my ground. I'm like jamming out in my car. Luckily, they weren't in the parking lot. Seeing me, they were already inside. So, um, you know, when I show up somewhere, I show up in confidence, in value, and I am here to serve you and show you how I can meet your needs. So, so when you show up with that confidence, it's different because as women, how many of us know that there are other ways we can get attention? Yes. Right? Now, I've seen a lot of power women, um, and, it, and it's just a natural tendency. I'm not balking anyone for doing this. I'm just saying sometimes they'll walk into a meeting and they're, they'll use their flirtatious nature. They'll use their natural essence of awesomeness to get attention rather than um, walking in and owning their confidence and getting respect. So when some people walk in and they get attention that way, I make sure I always walk in and get respect. Now I joke and I thrill and I, but I am there to add value. I am not there to flirt. I am not there to get attention in the wrong way. So as a woman, although we have those skills, you don't use those in business, yeah, in business right? Life. Ever. Um, as a respect for, for anyone. So, so how you present yourself authentically, confidently, if you are truly there to serve them and meet a need, you're going to make a sale right? If your value exceeds price, you're going to make a sale no matter what you're doing. So when I go in and try and get attention from the big guns, okay, I went into a bar with a room full of sports athletes and men and walk in in a suit. You bet I had the great shoes on. I will tell you, I did look like a million bucks, but to see someone standing there in that confidence, but to speak value and knowledge, um, I think they were a little like, huh, okay. She's not here to talk to us about motivation, right? And I was there to slam dunk them and get some money. I actually used step number one, step number two I just gave you. Number one, I was consistent. I was consistently following him, liking his posts, giving him hearts, right? You know, all of those kinds of things. I made sure he knew I was present, like kind of like, who's this girl who keeps showing up and sharing everything? And I was sharing his stuff on my Facebook and, you know, getting some attention and people going, thanks, Danelle, for the share. And then they were sharing it. So I was enrolling all of my peeps into it, right? So they, they were there. Then I, um, they, they actually, Corey had sent me a post that he wrote where he was willing to do a free training for someone. And I was nervous, right? I was afraid. And Corey snapshotted it and sent me a picture and said, why did you not respond to this? And I was like, you're right. Be brave. <laughs> Right, go. Right. And so sure. I was like, uh, but when I went to type, I go, don't type what everybody else is. Pick me, pick me, right? Don't be the normal, right? That's yeah. actually step number that. three. Like, don't be boring. Be okay. creative. Take a moment to show up differently than everybody else who's trying to get attention, right? Everybody sends a normal video. Everybody writes something. So I wrote something creative. I got his attention. I got his office to call me and I got them to pay attention. Then it was like, blank silence, right? And I was like, no, we can't have radio silence over here. I'm serious. So um, I, convinced, <laughs> I convinced Corey to borrow an airplane, right? Not like it's different than borrowing a car, 
right? It's a little right. bit of Yeah, I think it is just a little. Borrow an airplane. We need to show him the city that he needs to come visit, right? So we go up in the air. We circle around Denver. I'm shooting video of me flying an airplane going, listen, I'm a female. I'm a pilot. I'm serious about getting you here. What are you going to do? I walked into a store full of pianos, and I sat down. I rewrote the song to Piano Man, and I was like, Grant Cardone, I know you're watching, right? I was like singing to him and all these people are staring, like totally humiliated myself. But who does that, right? That's I just was like watching videos and getting ideas and training my brain. So I sent him a video a day for like a long time until they were like, okay, stop sending us videos. We notice you, something's unique. All right, let's have a conversation. And I'll tell you, you have to be standout. You cannot be the norm who puts their head down and just goes to work. You have to be going, what's happening? What's relevant? What are they doing? Great, I'm going to take it to the next level. I'm going to go to the next notch, okay? Yeah. Now, the last point, okay? Authentic confidence. You have to demand respect in how you present yourself. You've got to be consistent. You have to be different, set apart, be creative. And the last thing is you always have to be serving someone's pain point, Yeah. right? They've got a pain. They've got a need. They've got a want. So how are you going to meet that need? How are you going to serve them? And the moment you can serve them greater than the value that you're asking, right? Greater than what you're asking for, they're going to latch on, right? Now, Grant knows that I, I serve a large group of people and a, a group that is elite. And when all of those people follow, and I've delivered for him over and over again, right? He got thousands of people watching when I brought him to Colorado. And, and that delivered value. And he knows that what I give will be given back, you know? So, so that's it. When you can serve their pain point and you can actually deliver for someone. So if there's someone you want to share your brand all over the place to help you get eyeballs, figure out what they need, figure out how to meet that need and watch them serve you. Because I'll tell you the wealthy, the successful are some of the most generous people I know. And if you go out there and do it, their generosity in return will be amazing is they need to be involved in our 90 day program, right? The leading ladies virtual Academy. That is like stellar advice. We don't give anywhere else. Yeah. Right. And it's literally hop on, hop off, have a group of people pouring into you, giving you those extra tips and advice. This is access to us. That's not common. Yeah. Uh, that only happens, you know, very rarely, maybe once, twice a year. So, so that's the first step. Now we do have an elite elite program that, you know, for the few who are really running and truly running for the million dollar marks, uh, yeah. there, there's a place for you as well in the circle. So make sure you guys are a part of EliteLifeAcademy.com. You've put in your information. You're part of our Facebook group so you can yeah. get all those updates. But we yeah. seriously look forward to the opportunities to pour into people and share the goodness that we've been given. Yes, I agree. Well, that was perfect. So there's nothing else I can add to that goodness, Danelle. You nailed it. Nailed Together. it. So Together, Together we dream come true. Together, that's what happens. We close the loop, Danelle. That is what we, we do. do. Okay. So with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for being here. This video was valuable. Can you drop below the video and share with us your number one biggest takeaway? And what are you going to do today to get attention for your brand?